Hey guys, it's Thursday and I have another DIY challenge for you guys. Um, I'll be using all these pieces and it is part of the $10 dollar store DIY challenge. So um, you have to take $10, get some stuff from the dollar store and make as many projects as possible or make whatever projects you could with the $10. So I did end up having a bunch of these wood pieces from the Crafter's Square and I figured this would be a really good time to use them. So the first thing I'm going to use are these tumbling tower blocks. Now you guys know if you've, if you've watched any of my videos before you know I don't really like um, these tumbling tower blocks. They're uneven and they just they don't match up right. But I thought this would be a cute little DIY to be able to use these with because it doesn't have to be perfect. They don't have to be completely lined up, but you're just going to take, um, you're going to start off with four pieces and just glue them together like you see me doing here. And then you're just going to keep doing this over and over in layers and to make it as tall as you want to. So you can do three, you can do four, however many layers um, you wanted and you just keep putting them on there and then gluing them together as you see me doing here now just to give you some information on the challenge that i'm a part of today it is hosted by sonia over at domestic diva diy and you definitely want to go check out her channel she's got some awesome you know diys and videos for you she also has a um she has two other channels so just go ahead and check out her main channel and then you can get the information for her other ones it's you don't want to miss out on any of her videos because they are amazing um and then i'll be linking her channel and the playlist in my description box so be sure to check them out and if you're new here and you're coming over from the um, playlist welcome and thank you for joining and if you're returning hello there and thank you for coming back um so with this diy and also don't forget to subscribe like this video share and comment below i love to hear your guys's um, read your guys's comments and you know be able to communicate with you guys that way um and so yeah so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna layer these up and like I said, you make as many layers as you want and, you know, to make it as high or as, you know, as tall or as deep as you want it to be. Sorry for the shaking. But um, anyway, so I made, um, I believe that was five layers. And then I just cut off the lid to the box just to make a base on the bottom so that if I filled it with rocks or gravel or anything like that, it wouldn't fall out through the bottom. And I'm also going to be using a... Um, one of those little foams or styrofoams for the plants so I don't want that to fall through so we're just gonna cut out um, a piece of the planters foam I forget what it's called but this stuff right here <laughs> you're gonna cut a piece of that out and you're gonna just stick it inside the um, the little planter cut a piece and just be careful and it does cut really easily you, I didn't even need to use this but this is all I had was my my little scalpel there so just cut out a piece of that and um, put it in there and just drop your succulent in there and there's your planter it's cute something you can put on your desk or anywhere next project I'm going to take one of these round these wood rounds from the crafter square and I'm just finding some scrapbook paper that I wanted to use to kind of cover it up with of course if you don't have this particular scrapbook paper you can paint it or you can use whatever you know paper you have wrap um, gift wrap anything like that and you're just gonna go ahead and cut out um, a piece that is the size of the circle and I found this to be the easiest way rather than because I'm a horrible I'm horrible cutting with the scissors so this works out really well for me and once you're done cutting that piece out, all you're going to do is Mod Podge it on to the wood piece. And um, and that's it for now. You're gonna, I'm going to Mod Podge it, then I'm going to let it um, sit to the side and let that dry. And just be generous with the Mod Podge and, you know, put, put a nice little layer on there. And then once you put the, the paper on top, you can add a little bit more over it 
just to add a, la a layer you know of protection over it so it doesn't tear or whatever if you get wet and if you have a credit card or something or one of the Cricut scrapers scrapers that might work better I just had this piece of one of the scrap pieces of wood so I use that to um take out any bubbles so then for the next one you're going to take the other um, wood round or at least I'm using this other scrapbook paper that I had and it's from the same the same packet as the other scrapbook paper and you're just gonna do the same thing cut out a circle again you can you know use scrapbook paper you can decoupage it with uh, paper towels or what is it napkins not paper towels napkins whatever you want to use um, and again you can paint it if you want to whatever works for you um, for this one I did fill the little hole where the string where the jute twine was at I did fill that with some spackle and then again I'm just taking the Mod Podge and putting a layer on top to um, to protect that paper and um, once I'm done doing that I'm gonna set that one off to the side to dry and then I'll come back to it once it's dry so for the next project you're going to need two of these wood planks and I will add the color of this paint in the description box I know it's art mines chalk paint and I got it at Michaels I think it's like Caribbean mist or Caribbean something but I'll put it in the description box below and you're just gonna paint the two wood planks and one of the trays and you don't have to color the bottom of both the planks you can if you want to but I just only did the front one um, then you're going to take your two little wood um, cubby cubes or whatever they're called and you're going to paint them. I'm going to paint them this beautiful purple, but you can color them whatever, paint them whatever color you want. And I didn't paint the bottom just because, you know, I wanted to make sure that the glue adhered well. And then uh, I got a hinge from some other, something that I took apart and I just glued it to the middle so that the front part could hinge off like that or hinge up and then I just glued the back um, the black the back plank onto these little tray so that half of it was glued on and half of it wasn't so you could open up the front part then I glued the cubbies together on their sides or by the side the middle part of it and then I glued those on top of the wood plank there and as you see me doing right here I just went ahead and I glued that made sure it was even and um, then I just glued that and I didn't show you when I painted the front of the drawer um, white but I did paint I just gave it one coat of white I just I think I just deleted that I'm not really sure if I even recorded it or not but then we're going back to our um, wood rounds and this one I'm going to put a little hanger on the back of it so that I can hang it on my wall and these are just leftovers from you know pictures that I get that I don't use that I don't you know use them for that and I save everything I save them all and um, I end up using them for stuff like this so I went ahead and just screwed that hanger on there and then in the front I took a mug mug hook that I got at like Home Depot or actually I think I got these at Dollar General and it was like a box of them for a dollar um, but I've had these in my stash for a while so I just put that hook into the other one and then for this other wood round I took some of the leftover tower tumbling tower pieces and I glued them on like little legs so it's like a little table and um, I just went ahead and used, and I use Gorilla hot glue gun, Gorilla glue sticks in my glue gun. <laughs> um, and I've used them for a long time and I love them. So that's the only kind of glue I use in my glue guns. So then with the other tray, you're just going to go ahead and you can paint it or do whatever you want. But I'm going to use my shoe polish and give it a stained look just because it dries faster. Then um, I decided to use this sign and um, I'm going to take some of these letters. Now this is these are the letters I started off with and I really messed it up. I don't know what I was thinking but I messed it up so I just turned it around 
painted the other side kind of just like whitewashed it didn't give it a full coat of white just whitewashed it and then I used these other letters that were from the same sticker pack and I put lost and found on there and then I filled in the holes with hot glue and I just put some little um thumbtacks in there you see you can see the back of it where I messed up and I didn't bother <clears throat> excuse me I didn't bother about you know covering it up but here's how everything looks finished up and um, I hope this gives you some inspiration and you know you get some ideas and know that you can decorate on a budget ten dollars got me I believe five different decor pieces and I really like them so be sure to check out the playlist, check out Domestic Diva's channel, and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you again soon. Alright, be the reason someone smiles. Bye guys.